माई नेम इज गिरवर्धन मोकाटी आई एम ए मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर ई कंप्लीटेड मै ग्राज्युशन फ्रम जे एंड टू कॉलेज आफ् इंजीनियरी अनंतपू इन दर् ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ऐम कंटली वर्किंग एज ए डिजनर इन ए मल्टी नेशनल कंपनी इनिशियली ई वॉन्टेड टू बी सेलफ रिलयंट टू अर्न फॉर मै ओन एक्सपेस सो दट वाई आई स्टार्टेड सालविंग क्वेश्चन आन चेग ई हव जॉन चेग आन फस्ट नवंबर ट्वेंटी एटीन when i started doing check i didn't have that much knowledge about mechanical engineering to be honest i was good only at fluid mechanics but when i started solving questions there were questions related to all the other topics of mechanical engineering that was the trigger point when i started diving into the ocean of the mechanical engineering slowly i started solving questions which have practical application solving those questions has immensely changed the way I approached the mechanical engineering as a subject. So that's how I continuously evolved in learning the mechanical engineering through check. Regarding this question, I clearly remember the day that I solved maximum number of questions also. It was Friday night I think. Me and my friend decided to do a night out. So, we have started at 10 pm night. we started solving questions till 8 am in the morning we had breakfast then and i went to sleep the maximum number of questions that i solved were 49 just one shot of half century regarding that first thing we have to answer the question in our own words and apart like we have to make use of charts right the guidelines say that we should not use any charts or tables from external websites uh, i was having a problem regarding that in the initial stages as well so that's where i invested my time in solve in like in drawing the basic versions of the charts i prepared almost like every chart that is commonly used in mechanical engineering like moody chart and hazel chart whenever there is a question related to those charts i'll just use the draft versions that i have prepared earlier is we it will also save my time as well in solving the question yeah in type solution i use the inbuilt tool in the check answering template it it gives a various variety of the f- formulas like from algebraic form to differential form from polar form to cartesian form we can use any kind of equations from the inbuilt answering template only personally i love using that tool in check the main thing that helped me in tackling those kind of things while solving check is that getting a better clarity on the subject because if you get a better clarity on the subject you will be able to explain it in a better way because at the end the student should be able to understand the answer properly we should be able to give 100% explanations to the questions if we give the 100% explanations the student will have a better clarity on the answer if we are lucky we can get a upward as well 